Hello everyone! Welcome or welcome back here on my channel. This is me once again, Teacher Jinjin, your virtual teacher here on YouTube. Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel na ito, gumagawa ako ng mga Tagalog tutorial videos mula grade 7 hanggang grade 11. Kung interesado ka, please like, subscribe, at i-click mo na rin ang notification bell para ma-notify ka kapag may bago akong upload na video. Kung gusto mong mag-advanced learning sa inyong mga topics from first quarter hanggang fourth quarter, feel free to visit our playlist. Kompleto lahat yon. Okay? Let's get started! Magandang araw mga minamahal kong grade 8 learners! Sa video na ito ay itutuloy natin ang tungkol sa biconditional, inverse, converse, and contrapositive statements. Kung hindi nyo pa napanood yung learning task number 1 at number 2, i-click nyo na lang sa taas or hanapin nyo na lang sa playlist natin. Nai-discuss ko doon kung paano nga ba ginawa yung ganitong mga statements. Bago natin simulan ang learning task number 3 ninyo, ay i-review lang natin ang conditional statement, converse, inverse, contrapositive, at biconditional statements. So yung conditional statement, ito yung dinadagdagan lang natin ng if, Tsaka din. So, ito yung mga format para madali na lang ninyong magawa yung learning task number 3 ninyo. So, ito yung format ninyo, if P, then Q. Pag switch ninyo yung hypothesis at conclusion ng conditional statement, ang tawag doon ay converse statement. Kaya nga, if Q, then P. So, kung mapapansin ninyo, nabaliktad na yung P at tsaka ng Q. Yung P yun yung hypothesis, yung Q yun yung conclusion. Ano naman ulit ang inverse statement? Ang inverse statement naman, gagawin mong negative yung conditional statement. So, lagyan mo lang ng not or gawin mo lang negative yung statement. So, if not P, then not Q. Okay? So, ganito yung magiging format niya. Ang contrapositive statement naman, gagawin mo namang negative yung converse statement. Again, Yung inverse ay gagawin mong negative yung conditional statement. Ang contrapositive statement naman ay gagawin mong negative yung converse statement. If not Q, then not P. Okay? Ang biconditional statement ay kung parehong true yung conditional statement at tsaka yung converse statement. Kailangan pareho silang true at ang magiging format nito, P, if and only if Q. Okay, so, bigyan ko muna kayo ng example bago tayo mag-proceed sa learning task ninyo. A polygon with exactly four sides is a quadrilateral. So, ang conditional statement nito, if a polygon has exactly four sides, then it is a quadrilateral. So, nilagyan lang natin ng if at saka ng then. Ang inverse statement, gagawin natin negative yung conditional. So, if a polygon does not have exactly four sides, then it is not a quadrilateral. Ang converse statement naman, switch nyo lang yung hypothesis and conclusion sa conditional statement. So, magiging if a polygon is a quadrilateral, ito, then it has exactly four sides. So, nagbaliktad na sila, di ba? Ang contrapositive naman, ito yung negative form ng converse statement. So, magiging if a polygon is not a quadrilateral, kung mapapansin nyo, nadagdagan lang ng not, then it does not have exactly four sides. Okay? So, para mas maintindihan ninyo, let us try to answer this learning task. Write each sentence as conditional, converse, inverse, contrapositive. At ito yung magiging basis ninyo para madali ninyong maisulat. Then, ilagay ko na dito yung letter B para diretsyo na tayo. Determine which statements in A, both the conditional and converse statements are true. Write it in by conditional statement. Disclaimer lang mga anak, pinalitan ko yung mga ibang given dito para sa ganun ay subukan ninyong isolve yung nasa module ninyo kasi mas magandang mag-solve kapag kayo mismo ang magsusolve. Okay? Number one, fruits are good for your health. Lagyan nyo lang naman ng if and then but not necessarily na lagyan nyo lang ng if tsaka then but. So analyze and construct your own sentence. If you eat fruits, then you are healthy. Okay? Ano naman ang converse statement? Switch natin yung conclusion at saka yung hypothesis. So, magiging, if you are healthy, then you eat fruits. 
Then, ang inverse statement naman, ito yung negative ng conditional. So, gawin nating negative ito. If you do not eat fruits, then you are not healthy. Okay? At ang contrapositive statement naman, ang negative ng converse. So, if you are not healthy, then you do not eat fruits or then you don't eat fruits. Dito sa letter B, i-determine natin kung parehong true yung conditional at yung converse. If you eat fruits daw, then you are healthy. Hindi lahat, okay? So, hindi lahat ng kumakain ng fruit ay healthy. Meron yung iba, unhealthy. Ibig sabihin, dito pa lang sa conditional, hindi na natin yan pwedeng gawing by conditional. Kasi kailangan parehong true yung conditional tsaka yung converse. Okay? Number 2, 3x plus 8 equals 23, x equals 5. So, gawin natin conditional. If 3x plus 8 equals 23, then x equals 5. Then, switch lang natin. If x equals 5, then 3x plus 8 equals 23. Then, para makuha yung inverse statement, gawin nating negative yung conditional. Gawin nating not equal yung equal. If 3x plus 8 is not equal to 23, then x is not equal to positive 5. At yung contrapositive statement naman, gawin nating negative yung converse. So, if x is not equal to 5, yan, then 3x plus 8 is not equal to 23. Okay? Ngayon, tingnan natin kung parehong true yung conditional at saka yung converse. If 3x plus 8 equals 23, then x equals 5. So, itry nga natin isolve yan. So, pag nag-solve pag nag tayo ng equation, then transpose lang natin yung 8 magiging 23 minus 8. Then, matitira si 3x. So, 3x is equal to 23 minus 8 equals 15. Then, para matanggal si 3 sa tabi ni x, i-divide natin both sides by 3. Then, makakancel to and x is equal to 15 divided by 3 equals 5. So, totoo ba yung number 1 or yung conditional statement? So, this is true. Ngayon, sa converse statement naman, if x equals 5, then 3x plus 8 equals 23. Try natin. So, substitute lang natin yung 5 sa x. So, magiging 3 times 5 plus 8 equals 23. Then, magiging 3 times 5 equals 15 plus 8 equals 23. 15 plus 8 is equal to 23 equals 23. So, nag-equal sila, meaning to say, true din yung converse statement. Ibig sabihin, ang magiging by conditional statement ninyo dito, 3x plus 8 equals 23 if and only if or IFF, x is equal to 5. So, yun na yun. Number 3, a right triangle has a 90 degrees angle. Ang conditional statement nito ay, if a triangle is a right triangle, then it has a 90 degrees angle. Ang converse statement naman, switch lang natin ito. If a triangle has a 90 degrees angle, then it is a right triangle. Okay? Then, ang inverse statement, gawin nating negative ito. So, dagdagan natin ng not. Magiging, if a triangle is not a right triangle, then it has no 90 degrees angle. So, negative na siya. At ang contrapositive statement naman, nagdagan lang natin ito ng not. So, magiging, if a triangle has no 90 degrees angle, then it is not a right triangle. Okay? Sa letter B naman, tingnan nga natin kung true ba siya. Sa conditional, totoo ba to? If a triangle daw is a right triangle, then it has a 90 degrees angle. is true. Kasi nga, kaya nga siya right triangle, Kasi meron siyang 90 degrees angle. How about sa converse? If a triangle has a 90 degrees angle, then it is a right triangle. So, totoo ba na lahat ng triangle na 90 degrees ang tawag ay right triangle? Tama rin. So, this is true. Ibig sabihin, pwede natin niyang gawan ng biconditional statement. Okay? So, ito yung biconditional statement niya. It is a right triangle if and only if it has a 90 degrees angle. So, ito yung biconditional statement niya. 
Nasundan ninyo? Okay. Dito naman sa number 4, a penguin is a bird. So, ang conditional statement natin, if it is a penguin, then it is a bird. At ang converse statement natin, balik ta rin lang natin yan. So, magiging, if it is a bird, then it is a penguin. At ang inverse statement, gawin nating negative yung conditional. So, if it is not a penguin, then it is not a bird. At ang contrapositive statement, gawin nating negative yung converse. So, if it is not a bird, then it is not a penguin. So, i-identify nga natin kung true or false ba yan. Dito sa conditional, if it is a penguin, then it is a bird daw. So, tama naman yan kasi kapag yung penguin ay type din ng bird. Okay? At sa converse statement naman, if it is a bird, then it is a penguin ba? Pag bird ba ay penguin na agad? Hindi. Kasi marami namang types of bird. May ibig sabihin, this is false. So, we cannot make a biconditional statement in number 4. Alright? Number 5, a dolphin is a mammal. So, ang conditional statement nito, if it is a dolphin, then it is a mammal. Ang converse statement, balik ta rin lang natin. If it is a mammal, then it is a dolphin. Ang inverse statement, gawin nating negative to. If it is not a dolphin, then it is not a mammal. Ang contrapositive, gawin nating negative yung converse. So, if it is not a mammal, then it is not a dolphin. Nasusundan nyo na mga anak? Okay. Identify natin kung true ba or false. So, dito sa conditional, if it is a dolphin, then it is a mammal. True naman, di ba? Kasi mamal naman yung dolphin. Ngayon, dito sa converse statement, if it is a mamal, then it is a dolphin. So, pag merong mamal ba, ay dolphin na siya? Hindi. Marami ding types of mammals. Ibig sabihin, this is false and we cannot make a biconditional statement in number 5. Okay? Mga anak, kung gusto ninyong panoorin yung part 2 ng learning task number 3, i-click nyo na lang sa taas or hanapin nyo na lang sa playlist natin kasi masyado nang mahaba itong video na to. Kung nakatulong ito sa inyo, please do like this video at mag-comment na rin kayo sa baba. Once again, stay home, stay safe, stay healthy at mag-aral lang mabuti. God bless you all and goodbye!